Bennett, hold on. I just don't understand. Why wouldn't Brad want to come with us? You built this place. Would you be able to leave that behind? Oh, Jesus, look at that. Oh, God, it's awful. Christ, what happened here? What do we do to deserve this? Let me go home. I, I just want to see my family again. What's up with you? You're as white as a sheet. Wait, we don't know what's out there. There was nothing out there before. Let's just go one at a time. You remember what Ted said? One of those things shows up, don't move a fucking muscle. I'll go first. Okay, I'm next. When I get to the other side, I'll give the signal. You next or am I? Okay, I'll follow.
All right. Easy. Take it easy. I have no idea how lucky you are to be alive. We didn't exactly have much of a choice. No. Fact doesn't offer much in the way of choices, does he? What happened to the old fool? He wouldn't listen to reason. Guess he wanted to go out on his own terms. Oh, huh, yes. Well, if Bragg had made up his mind, there's nothing on heaven or earth that would, would have changed it. Father Ted Mosley, I'm glad to meet another survivor. Father. The only reason we're alive right now is because you told us not to move. At first I couldn't believe it, but... I saw it all from here. I'm glad you made it back here. Not everyone has been so lucky today. The mythology I've been telling you about. The story of these things. I never knew how true it all was. This is not a disease. This is not a virus. This is a curse. There are more survivors holed up in the administration offices. They still think it's an infection. They have no idea what they're up against. They need our help. I've been so worried about each and every one of you. I warned Bragg something like this could happen. I warned him there was something here on the mountain. An evil spirit, powerful. But he wouldn't listen. It's like what happened to the miners. What they did to each other to survive. When I was a missionary interacting with the native people, I'd hear these stories told with great conviction. But of course, back then, I only trusted in my own faith, so I dismissed them as mere superstition. Unsubstantiated campfire tales. We wait. Police will be here soon. I'd advise everyone to get a little shut-eye while we can. Excuse me. Suzanne, just hold tight. They're coming to get us out of this. How are we gonna get out of this? You think the police are really on their way? Hey, hey, hey. Don't be scared. They'll be here soon. Sooner the better. It's okay. It's gonna be fine. Listen, you should get some shut-eye before the cops show up. I think I'd prefer to be alone. I'm not feeling myself. I need to rest. I'd advise you to do the same. I need some time to myself. Maybe get some rest before the police arrive.
playing with fire, Brad. There's something bigger than the two of us at work in this place, and we've got to be careful. Stuff and nonsense. What you're saying is ludicrous. Have you all lost your mind? Would you please come and help me? I'm so sorry. This will all be over soon. Go! Go! Keep moving! Don't stop! I can't. I can't keep running. You can do it, Suzanne. Come on. Stop! Wait. Well, great. Now what the hell do we do? I saw us head this way. Gotta be right on route too. David! Help me with the door. Yeah. <clears throat> Come on! <clears throat> Hey, how are you feeling? Let's just take it easy for now. You nearly caught a bullet with your skull. Took a tumble and hit your head pretty hard. You'll be all right. Folks, we gotta keep moving. No time. Not everyone can keep up with you, Gordon. Why would they just open fire like that? Police saw the miner, what he'd become, and they reacted. Reacted? People are dead, man. That's a pretty big fucking reaction. I think we all need to calm down, think this through. What is that? Are you hearing that? It, it was a misunderstanding. That's all it was. We, we just need to explain it to them. We should go back. Police know we saw what they did. That makes us witnesses. 
We need to get out of here. This tunnel will take us to the hotel and from there, off the mountain. And they walk. Keep your eyes on my finger. Good. Response seems normal. Oh, shut up. I'm trying to think. Did you really not hear all these voices? Gordon, there are no voices. You're lying to me. Of course there are. They won't stop. You need to take it easy. Get off of me! No, Doc, what the hell's your problem? We can't stay here any longer. Can you stand? You'll be fine. One step at a time. You can do it. Sounds like they're giving up on that door. It won't be long before they find another way in. We should go. How are you holding up? Miners and the police. If this is all a terrible dream, I just want to wake up. Or at least get off this mountain. We should be safe in the hotel. Victor keeps most of the place in lockdown for winter. I doubt Victor's even alive. Victor knows this place like the back of his hand. If anyone could make it, it's him. Victor manages to cram the entire hotel in here for the winter. Look how organized. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Sets a fine example. Please, Ted, you have to stay focused. Looks to me like Victor's been here recently. I'm telling you, this sort of press really gets under Bragg's skin. I'd advise you to be careful. to the elevator. We're now in the basement of the Blackwood Pines Hotel. 
The elevator up ahead will get us there. You hear that? What was it? I don't know. Ted, I... I'm sorry I pushed you. I don't know what came over me. We've got to stick together. You heard them, right? The voices? Dr. Bennett, there are no voices. I'm worried you might be malnourished. It could be affecting your perception. Nonsense. I am perfectly fine. You don't seem yourself, Mr. Bennett. I'm going to keep an eye on you. Come on, don't fall behind. Elevators this way. It's everything. It's everything. Well now, doctor. I can only hope you have better luck than the last guy. Try it for size. 